What is going on guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to some more Blightfall. Now, last time we left off, we were doing some geologist missions, or uh, xenobiologists actually. We were looking for some fossils and stuffed shells, and then we were also looking for some uh, stuff for the geologists as well. We also found some down in the caves here, in the nether ore caves, as well as some of the floating islands that direction. But uh, I, I came out of the nether ore cave, only to find there's this like... I, I guess it's one of those jungle temples. Ooh, there's an ore node down there. Let's go see what that ore node has. I, I guess it's one of those jungle temples. I don't know if it's anything special, though, but, uh, yeah. Eh, that's decent. Water and air, but I don't know if I really want to capture that, you know? Anyways, ooh, I see a creper inside there. Is there, like, a proper entrance inside of this thing, or, uh... I don't think so. I can hear... <laughs> well, it sounds like a creeper, like, stepping on some pressure plates or something. Hey there, little piggy. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go right in and... Guess we'll need to be a little bit careful here because there are creperoonies. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, no. Oh, wait, yeah, there is an entrance, I think. This thing right here. Or, I don't know. I don't know if I've only ever been in. Oh, yeah, I guess this is. Oh, my God. Crepper, no. Whew. Man, that was real close. Oh, jeez. Oh, there is a proper entrance. This is kind of backwards. Okay. Well, where does this one go? Because I know there are like traps or like tripwire somewhere. Should probably be a little bit careful of that. Uh, oh, yeah, here's the levers. Hmm. Yeah, there's tripwire here, definitely. There's gotta be. Is that a... Oh, yep, there's string. I'll break that. Oh! Oh, what the... I just saw through the world right there. It's like I had some casual hacks installed or something. I'll take those, uh, those tripwire things, though. Take those. There is... A dispenser there, probably with some arrows or flame or... Whatever side of there. Oh, nothing, actually. Okay. Maybe some of the creepers might have already activated that, but there's free redstone there. Oh, it did it again. Look at those caves. Not bad. I think I've already been down there, though, but I think I know a way to fix that. I'm going to have to do a little bit of a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and there you go. Shouldn't have that problem anymore. <laughs> Anyways, ooh, a princess's ring, a prodigio, a little bit of bones. Nothing inside the dispenser. Guess I'll take that redstone, hey, duh. Grab that. Grab that. And, oh, a crepper! Or a, <laughs> a zombie! A crepper with arms and legs! <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh, let's take the redstone. Might as well, right? Free redstone. Let's see, where does this go? I think this, uh, where? What's this? Oh, it's for the trip. Oh, okay. So if I did hit those trip wires, it would have activated those dispensers. Anyways, uh, I guess we can figure out this, uh, this lever puzzle here. Without actually cheating or something, you know? Uh, what would that even do? Where? Where would that even be connected to? Uh... Oh! Something happened. Something happened. Hello there, zombie. Let's go upstairs. Let's go see. Uh... That's where we came in. <laughs> I don't know if... I don't know what that was connected to, but... I'll see. Let's check. Let's just dig right behind there, hater. Hey, oh! Wait a second, what? Wait, what? There's pistons that are pushing something right here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that... Oh my god, what's that zombie? A bold zombie. Ooh. Okay, well... Okay. I don't know what this was. How would I even get in there? Just a pressure plate. Those pistons push that over there. But that's retracted or extended, so that would basically close whatever's... I really don't know how I would have gotten that loot, but I'll thank it. Uh, we got a miniature heart thing. Got some zombies. There we go. Kill those pixies. Or kill them with the pixies. And uh, I guess that's it? Or what happens? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I, I've broken so many blocks here. I probably like broke the puzzle too. Hello there, chicken. <laughs> Goodbye there, chicken. Uh, is that all the loot this year, though? Just a couple levers, uh, a little bit of a chest right there with the heart containers. Something there with a Perdicio ring or something. Apprentice's Perdicio ring or something. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, well, that was kind of a cool little temple. I've, I haven't been on there in a really long time, especially on camera. So let's go over here and skill this enemy and see if we can get ourselves an enemy barrel. I don't know if we go. Oh, where'd that enemy go? Come on, get out of your creepers and spinners. There we go. Whew. <gasps> Where'd this enemy go? I don't see him on the minimap. Let's get this, uh, let's get this dumb- Oh, armored skeleton. Ooh. <laughs> Not so armored with this cleaver, hater. Hey, Anyways, ooh, a little bit of taint right here. I wonder if there's a, uh, an- Oh, whoa, that's the wrong thing. 
wonder if there's, oh, that's the wrong thing too. <laughs> I wonder if there's a, uh, like a tainted ore note or something on the ground that's kind of tainting this land. Yeah, I don't know where that Enderman went. He's just straight up gone. Anyways, we're like really, really distracted right now. <laughs> so how about we, uh, let's get the blink. There we go. Go to the top of the volcano. Go back to Binom Alpha. And, ooh, I did do a little bit of research on the Dolomite. Now, I don't think you could find, like, information about, like, rocks and stuff inside of the, inside of the books. Like, this book, you can't, like, find out where, like, Dolomite is, I guess. So I had to look it up, and I, I think I know where it is. I think it's at, uh, Bidom Gamma or something, something like that? I don't know, I guess we'll go and explore and see if we can find anything, but, uh, common treasure, common treasure, ooh! Ooh, we got an Ender Pearl. Gold coins, gold ingot, potion of poison. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll put that over here with those other potion of poisons and other trash. Let's put all this stuff up as well, and I think I'm good. I, I guess I'll just charge up my wand, or, uh, well, I guess I could charge up my wand. I, I kind of wanted to charge up my pick real quick, but let's go charge, charge up our wand as well. Maybe feed a little bit more mana inside of the stuff over here. Eh, yeah, I guess I could use some more. And, uh, oh, yeah, last episode, I think we found out that there's a couple more, uh, like, what are they called again? Foci. Like V things, like uh, like wand tip things. So let's go to Apocrypha. Was it over here in Apocrypha or uh? Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is all like tinkering, and the rift. Here's the mending one, which would, I guess it could be kind of cool, but it requires the Pex curse thing, and I don't know how to get the Pex curse. I guess we can get it from the Pex people. I, I think I got some comments saying that you could trade with them, so I suppose we can go maybe to the. I've only I I, I think I've only ever seen the Pex people like maybe in one or two places. And one of them was the, uh, the Obsidian Tower. The other place might have just been some random area underground or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's grab our pick. There you go. And I suppose we'll, uh, make our way to whatever that place is called. Obsidian Tower. See if we can go find some of those peck people. Maybe trade with them. Maybe get the, uh, the peck's curse thing. Or maybe kill them. I don't know if that's what they drop. <laughs> Anyways, Obsidian Tower. There you go. Alright, we have to go pretty deep inside of here, though. Let's get the, uh, pff, what do I want? A, a Freaks of Flame? Oh yeah, that just smelt stuff. I don't know what I want. I'll just keep it as the blink for right now. All right, let's go down. Oh, I probably should got some torches. Ah, I'm not going mining right now, so no real need to get the torches just yet. I can worry about that a little bit later. And yeah, nothing here. There should be some. There should be some peck bulk down here, I believe. Oh yeah, a lot of. Oh my god, a lot of skeletons. Oh Jesus, there's so many skeletons. Man, what is with all these? They're all they're all skeletons. There's not like a random zombie, no creepers. They're just all skeleton fellas. Jeez. Let's get this last one over here. Yeah, maybe we'll go be able to find uh, some pecs here a little bit lower. Let's place a torch here. That way it'll help a little bit with the with the spawning. There you go. Anything else down here? Is this the bot yeah, that's the bottom. I don't see any peck. Oh, crepper. But there is something over here. Is that what this is? Oh, that is what that is on the minimap. Okay, it was like a random red question mark. There we go. <laughs> uh, I could send in those uh, those taint things, but nah, can't really be bothered. I don't need to either. <laughs> so, oh, let's grab this. Yeah, there's already glowstone there. That's kind of redundant. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I don't know if there's any peck people over here. Actually, let me set my uh, my minimap to show. Uh, where is it? Radar. There you go. Neutral people. There we go. Now we should be able to find these peck people a little bit easier. Let's go up. Uh, was that a bat? On the minimap there that was moving? I think it was. Yeah, okay. Alright, it might be a little bit tougher. Yeah, those are a lot of bats up there. Jeez. Oh, what am I doing? I can literally fly. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, like, using the little levitation thing. Anyways, yeah, I don't know where these pack people are. I, I, I've seen them down here. I don't know what they, if they even show up on the minimap there or, or what, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing a single one, so... Hmm. Uh, I guess the other place, I, if I remember correctly, the other, only other place I think I've seen a peck people, peck person, <laughs> is uh, maybe at that tree house that's all the way over, uh, all the way over here. I think I might have seen one over here, maybe? Maybe it was at the iceberg area? I don't know, we haven't been over there in a real long time. Wait, is that lava? That is lava. Ooh. Hmm. I kind of want to go over here and explore, especially now that we can find, especially over here. There's an absolute ton of stuff. Oh, wait, yeah, Bidome. Yeah, let's see. Epsilon Gamma. I don't know which one it was. Epsilon? It might have been Gamma. Let's go to Bidome Gamma. Yeah, which one is this one? Oh, it's here. Okay. Let's see if we can find Dolomite underground. Is this it? No, that's Gabbro. Okay. Let's break in. Let's get our taint cleaning wand out. And, uh, 
I guess I could just throw some flames around. <laughs> Light this area up a little bit. Uh, fire. Fire. Which one's... Is this? Yeah, that's the fireball one. Yeah, I guess it can't light up when there's taint on the ground, so let's, uh, let's try and clean this up a little bit. See if we can find some of this dolomite siltstone right now. A lot of siltstone, actually. What's this? Oh, that's tainted. Ecologite. Don't need that trash. Gabbro. Eh, still no dolomite. I, I, I think it might have been biome Gamma, right? Maybe. I might have to look it up again, but... Hmm. Not really seeing... I mean, this, I might have to go down pretty deep, actually. Oh, here we go, Dolomite, yes! Yes, send that in, hater! do 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 do, -do and ba-boom! Twelve mission outlook. Now all we need is this Altaris stuff. Geologist is 97%. Uh, 46 quests in total, 46 unlocked, 45 completed. So that's it. Altaris, that's the only thing we need. We need to go to the Mushroom Island. We need to go to the Mushroom Island and find the last one. Ooh. Man, we're... We're really getting some good progress done here. Like, not gonna joke around. Like, if we're looking at the thing, the instructor, I think, is the only one that- wait. Yeah, this undie thing. Yeah, we have to get this nether ruta ore, which I suppose we can look at in the book. Find out where we can find this nether ruta stuff. Nether rack. Shards. Promethium. Blah, blah, blah. Nether- oh. Oh, that's nether quartz. Huh. I don't know now. Also found very rarely directly under scout locations. Hmm. Mines as an epic level. I think we can mine that with our extreme, so. Obsidian yellow, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's not here, Mutatite. Karmot Mithril? I don't see this, uh, Rutile stuff. Ardine? Is it. I don't think. Because it's, it's another Rutile ore. And unfortunately, this thing doesn't seem to be in, like, alphabetical order, so it's kind of it's kinda hard to figure out where certain ores are on this list, you know? But, uh, Shadow Iron Tin, yeah, I don't know. That's where you can find Nether Quartz, yeah, I know, in the desert. That's where I found all my Nether Quartz. But, uh, a Source Quartz, I don't know, it's not showing up at all. Unless I might have missed it, but I don't think I would have, right? Hmm. Anyways, let's see. We need to go to... Oh, here we go. Here's a teleport thingy. We need to go to the Mushroom Island, which is great because we've already cleaned this area up to the brim. 100%. Our very first 100% uh, gold medal was from the Mushroom Island, so I feel pretty good about that. I'm not going to jug around, so let's see. Where should we go? It's like oil or sludge or something, right? Yeah, so... Oh, jeez, I'm poisoned. <laughs> Man, that was a bad idea. Jeez. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, oh, God, out of the Green is just spinning around. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, well, uh, let's go down to some low ground so it's a little bit easier to dig all the way down. Let's get our excavation thing. See if we can dig a little bit faster. Yeah, there you go. It, it occurs, I think, between 20 and 24 or something like that on the Y axis. So, ooh, a little underground looking. Whoa, what is that? Oh, that's a. Uh, I think that's the, the nice looking ore. Oh, look at that. We got some. <laughs> we got some fossils right there from that limestone. Here's marble. Wow, this looks really good. Oh, abandoned mine. Ooh, oh, is this a ravine? Ooh, I think it is. Abandoned mine ravine combo. Get out of here, zombie trash. A zombie, oh my god, I'm getting hit. Oh, look at that little pixie thing, he's just kind of hanging out. Is he stuck in a combo or something? I don't know, jeez. <laughs> There's so much stuff going on all over the place, jeez. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little ravine right here, though. Uh, I don't think I uh, need anything here, though, but I guess I'll just continue digging down, so let's go back to over here where we... Don't get you up here. Yep. That way we have a little bit of sunlight. We can see a little bit easier. It's down to, I think, uh, let's, let's look at it again. It's the very last one, so that's really cool. I just skip all the way to the very end. Like so. Yeah, 20 and 25. That's kind of weird. That's a really tight space when you look for this Altaris stuff, you know? But, oh, jeez, we're landing right next to a crepper. Jeez. <laughs> Man. All right, let's keep digging down. Now, you don't want to dig. Oh, wait, we've already reached 20 to 25. Okay. Finding a lot of shards and stuff here, though. I should probably make torches. Do I have a... There is a abandoned mine, so... I could essentially just go up here. Get some of the wood. Uh, can it break wood? It actually breaks it decently fast. Can't complain. I'll get, like, four pieces of wood. And then I'll, you know, mine, like, one thing of coal and... Make a few torches for me to... Help look for this out stuff, but... Apparently this stuff is, like, decently rare or something, so... Kind of interested in... Oh, I got five. I might as well get six, all right? Kind of interested to see, like, what you can make out of it. Actually, I can look it up right now, right? Oh, 
Altaris. Uh, Altar, or is it Altaris? Is this it? Cobalt? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> I don't know why it's not coming up on the thing, though. Oh, we should probably get some uh, coal here. And there. I think I saw some coal, so. Yeah, it's all the way up here, I believe. So, oh, yeah, here we go. Let's get this coal. I actually mines it pretty quickly when you're in air like this. Not bad. All right, let's get ourselves uh, sticks and stones to break our bones, Hater. <laughs> let's get ourselves a few things of torches. There you go, 12 torches. Yeah, let's just mine a little bit more coal so we can make a little bit more torches and look for this Altaris stuff. And then we'll be able to 100% the geologist, which sounds really weird, you know? Like I said before, it's, it's just weird that we're getting so much good progress done lately. Anyways, there we go. And ba-boom, 48 uh, torches. Not bad. All right, let's head back down. Now let's continue our quest for our Taurus. And I suppose we can go back home and... Oh, Grapparoonie, get out of here! Whew. There we go. All right. <laughs> uh, anyways, like I was saying, uh, I guess we can continue our quest to look for packs and stuff here a little bit later. If we do find the Altaurus, or if we can't find the Alt Altaurus. So, uh... This kind of like leads up. Oh, this leads back down. Okay, that's good. I was about to say, like, if it leads up, we, we should probably avoid it because... Like, we need to be in the 20 to 25, and we're in 20 to uh, 25 right now. Just need to keep our eyes peeled for any, I guess, yellow-looking ore. And this is a little bit too deep right here. Oh, what is this? Red granite. Not bad. Hmm, is that uh, yellow right ore? I guess I could use that for my nuclear reactor. Lead ore. Yeah, we're still a little bit too deep right here. We have to go up about 10 blocks. I do have a pretty good amount of torches, though, but ooh, is that uh, lapis lazuli I smell? Let's grab that with a soaked Dutch, hey, duh. I don't think there's anything. <laughs> there's so many creepers just exploding all over the place around me, you know? But ooh. Well, this goes into a bad in mind. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Man, I hate that pun. But I keep using it all the time, so it's my fault. It's, uh, that's gold. I guess I just casually walk. <laughs> just casually walk right past the gold like it's nothing. Because it is nothing, ain't it? Uh, ooh, my car. Ooh, thought me Oh, no! Jeez, Grepper. <laughs> Man, I'm not finding any of this Altaris. I'm not finding any of it. We're at 23 right now, which is literally in the middle of 20 to 25. We're a little bit too high right now, though, but I'm just kind of looking for any potential loot crates, like minecarts with chests inside of them. Uh, yeah, I don't see any. Yeah, we're still, oh, whoa, here's another one. Oh, there's two. Thomium thing, redstone, uh, uh, dirt. I guess I'd grab the redstone. What's inside of this one? Ooh, a lot of knowledge fragment. I think a little bit of coal, too. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's, let's keep heading back down. Let's, try, let's keep trying to look for this Altaris stuff. I might have to whip out that hammer. Start mining up, like, like strip mine or something, you know? Because I don't think we want to have too much luck finding this just by walking around like this, you know? So let's grab this. Let's break a lot of the dirt. There you go. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, it's another uh, cave-looking thing. Any loot down here? Yeah, I don't see any loot. Oh! <gasps> oh, Taurus. Wait, what? Wait, why is it at 18? Or 19? Or. Yeah, you crepper. Okay, well, we need an epic level pick. This can't mine it. Was this alien? Yeah, this is alien. We need to get the. Uh, let's get our backpack. There we go. What was that? Bone file? I guess I would drop these. I don't really need them. I think you can just get bone. Yeah, I can just get bone meal out of them. Might as well give that to our. Uh, our, uh, our golems that are cutting down trees and stuff, but we do have this one right here, this mail and pickaxe. Should be able to mine it, right? <gasps> no. Oh, jeez, Crepper. Oh, there we go. Oof. So is Epic the highest one? This is, this is, this is extreme. And it can't mine it. Oh, wow. I guess Epic is higher than, I, I, I thought extreme was at the higher, the, uh, like, like, like the, the top of the food chain, you know? But I guess I'm mistaken. I guess I'll set a waypoint here. Maybe come back later. Maybe make some tools. I, I guess we'll figure out, like, what makes... Uh, like, what is able to even break this, this Altaris? So, let's we'll set a waypoint here. I think we... Yep, here we go. Altaris. There you go. I'll set that to, like, yellow. There you go. And then we can just... Oh, God, I'm glitched. <laughs> and then we'll just come back here a little bit later. But for right now, uh... Do you want to... Yeah, let's just dig right out. Let's just dig all the way up to the very top, Ada. Hey, and uh, I guess I'll just go to pause the recording real quick. Make my way to the very tippity top of the surface. We can probably head back home, try, uh, try and make a pick that can actually mine this stuff. And then I suppose we can just head back, mine it, 
send it in to the geologist, and I guess we'll be good to go. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, I made it back, and I'm at bottom mouth right now. Just eat a little bit of food. I didn't realize I was starving, though, but <laughs> I guess I was a little bit hungry. Anyways, let's see. Let's, let's just search epic. Ooh. Mining level epic. I don't even know. That's not even English. <gasps> Ooh, sanguinite. Adamantine pickaxe. Mining level is epic. Reinforced two. I might be able to make a uh, sanguinite. Sanguinite pick. Hmm. I think we have a pretty good amount of sanguinite. Ooh, epic bacon. <laughs> what? Bacon with a bunch of dye. Look at all that. Epic bacon. <laughs> Awakened Ecorium pickaxe. What? Okay, that's interesting. I, I wonder if we can find it in the Thaumonomicon. That seems like a really cool looking book. Let's see if we can find it inside of here. It was called like an Encorium pick or something? It, would it be in Apocryphia? Uh, pickaxe of Distortion, I don't think that was it. I don't know, that thing looked epic though, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but, I don't know, oh, what is all this stuff? There's like a bunch of ancient alien looking symbols here. Dimensional shards, yeah, I already know about that. Infused crops. Oh, that's that infused crops thing I still need to do. Uh, yeah, I don't know where it is. Autology. It might be here. Hungry, m hungry, ama. All mouth, no stomach. What? Want focus of crafting? Putting it all together. I guess I crafts a bunch of stuff or maybe it opens up a crafting table and it, like anywhere. Slivers of travel. Slivers of magic. I don't know. Golomancy, it probably wouldn't be there. Artifice. Runic shielding. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff here that I don't remember being unlocked. Was this it? Pickaxe of the... No, this is Pickaxe of the Core. It's Super Diamond, but... It's not quite as, uh... As, uh it's not, like, epic level. I need it to be epic level for me to actually mine stuff, you know? But I don't know where it is inside of here. I, I also got some comments saying there's, like, a... A new tab that I need to unlock. But I don't know how to unlock it. Oh, here's the peck people. Is he going to tell me where the peck are on this, uh... On this planet? Uh, I don't think it is yeah hmm okay enchantment haste blah 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 yeah i already know about all that trash well i don't know uh, i guess we could see if we have like a lot of sanguinite or something sanguinite yeah we have 24 sanguinite left over we could make a sanguinite pick which is i guess just any sticks and then that um, or i could use uh hmm i could always upgrade it stuff or i could just upgrade it using a uh, uh, repair it Using the, the thing over here, the... Hmm, I don't know what I want, though. Hmm. Okay, we have paper. We can make a handle out of paper or something. Or, uh... Wait, wait what? Writable? What does that even mean? It has two modifiers remaining on this one, though. So I guess we can make it out of a... Like, the head, of course, could be made out of sanguinite, which is how much sanguinite do you need? 144. I think it's just one ingot. So let's get one sanguinite ingot. And then uh, make the pickaxe head for that. Then, I guess we could make paper for the little X thing on that. Then the handle? What would the handle be made out of? Tool rod. I wonder if this tells me durability modifier. I guess it just tells you, like, how durable it is. Slowness. Poison 2. Reinforce 3 if I use sapphire. Sheesh. Ruby. Do I even have that stuff? I do have rubies and sapphires. I do. Huh. So it'd be reinforced. I wonder if I can, uh... Oh, I have Paradise as well. I think I have Paradise. I, I think I have a lot of it, right? No, I don't have it in the... I must be like End of Earth or something. I remember having a lot of Paradise. Elementium. Durability modifier one times. Hmm, I think I'll do the reinforced three for like... How much, uh... How do you make a Sapphire tour? How do you like... How do you do that? I think you just make it in the thing, right? So let's get some uh, Sapphire. What do we have a lot of? We have six Sapphires. Ruby... We have seven rubies. Okay, so let's use the rubies. Let's get a few. Uh, let's get all of them. I think we just have to go over here and I guess make it the uh, old-fashioned way in the part builder, right? So let's go over here. Let's get the... Oh, where would it be? It'd probably be in here, right? Yep, here we go. Tough rod. I don't think it's a uh, tool rod. Here we go. Put the tool rod pattern up there. The ruby. Yep, there we go. Ruby tool rod. Nice. A ruby Tuesdays. <laughs> a ruby chunk right there. We put that back up there and throw this ruby chunk up there. Now we have some paper. We're going to need this tough binding. Nope, we're going to need that. There you go. Tool binding. Do that. And we're going to make that out of paper. We're just going to make it writable, which I guess means it adds another modifier. I guess that's what the technical name for that is. And now we just need to go downstairs. Grab a... Uh, throw this... Uh, what's it called? Sanguinite? Throw it inside of the smell tree. Let that... Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> There's so much iron inside there. I don't think it's going to combine with the uh, the iron, right? Uh, sanguinite. I don't think it like mends with anything, right? Molten sanguinite. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, that's some really epic armor, though. <laughs> You've got to admit, we can make a blood altar, which I guess we could do instead of going uh on here's the sacrificial knife as well. Hmm, so that satanic stuff is this is literally satanic stuff. Because those, those sacrificial knife, the blood altar, those are made out of sanguinite. Wow. <laughs> no wonder Satan's been whispering to me a lot lately. Jeez, he knows I've got the sanguinite. Hey, uh. <laughs> Anyways, let's grab that sanguinite. One ingot. Let's just uh, pour it and set. Uh, there you go. 144 on 144. Perfect. And now we have the sanguinite pickaxe head. All right. Well, let's go upstairs. Let's go to the, the tool forge thing and let's go. Make this this new tool, I suppose, and we'll be able to combine it or uh, customize it here in the future. So it's got the uh, that what's it called tool rod? Where's the pickaxe on this? There it is. It's got the tool rod, the the paper that. So it's a little bit uh, you can add some modifiers, and of course the head to make it oh wither one ooh. Of course the head to make it an epic level mining skill level's clumsy because I've literally never used it. Durability's uh, thousand thirty two, which is actually better than this, right? Yeah, better than our Madeline picks, so not bad. Probably thanks to the to the Ruby uh, tool rod thing I used, you know? As that uh, reinforced three. Mining speed is two. Modifiers for mating is two, so we can always customize it, make it a little bit better, make it a little bit dur uh, more durable if we want. But right now, all we need to do now is head back to the Mushroom Island, to the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> and I think uh, I have a big old hole in the ground. I can just kind of look for uh, where... Oh, here it is over here. I think I just have a big old hole in the ground I can just kind of fall into. And we'll be able to immediately mine that Altaris, so... Yeah, here we go, right here, I think. Yep. <laughs> There's water leaking into this, too. Jeez, this is terrible. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's just go down as fast as we can. And... Oh, ba-boom, nice. Where's that? Oh, here it is, right here, Altaris. And let's kind of... Oh, jeez, witches. Disgusting witch trash. And come on, come on. Are we going to get it? Discovery of Altaris unlocked more info in your materials book. Hey, duh. Okay, well, I couldn't find the Altaris in the in the not enough items search thing, so I, I must have been like spelling it wrong. Or is it? Uh, so what can you do with this? Of course, you can make an Altaris and get Altaris dust, which you can use to make pulverized gold for some reason <laughs> with medassium. Uh, what can you use with uh, ingot for? Oh, Altaris axe. What does the armor look like? Oh my God. Oh, that's epic looking. Oh, that's and you can make a bucket just a <laughs> just a regular iron bucket out of this stuff. Altaris brick man and shears, of course. Altaris shovel. Altaris sword does eight damage though. That's not bad. It looks pretty good. Altaris block looks pretty pretty too. <laughs> pretty pretty. Huh. Everything here looks great. Anyways, I think we're gonna have to either send that in or let the geologist scan it. So, or uh, geol wait what? Ah. <gasps> Ooh, all quests completed. I just have to, s I guess, send this in. Do we send it in or? Oh, we still have it. Yes, he just needs to scan it. He just needs to confirm that we had it. Yes. <gasps> oh my God. This is great. So what does he say about this, uh, this metal? It is harder than anything I could imagine. It makes the holes of our spaceship look like brass in comparison. You absolutely must get me a sample of this metal. I only wonder how you'll possibly get it out of the ground. Search for it in the Mushroom Island. I guess I could have figured that out from this guy. Luckily, it occurs at a very specific uh, strata. Height 20 to 25. Okay. Well, that could have been uh, pretty useful, but I guess I could have found that out either way from the from the book of materials or whatever. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. We have the geologist 100 percent with the zombieologist basically 100 percent. And I guess it just kind of glitched or something. I did get some comments saying, hey, don't forget about the, uh, the the Gaia 2 ritual. Maybe I'll come back and do that whenever I'm bored or something. I don't know. But we're kind of trying to do the quest book stuff right now. So no real need to do the Gaia stuff just yet. I know, it's look at the quest book, because, oh man, is it pretty with all that green, look at that. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I guess I'll do a little bit of research on this Ruta or see where you can find it, because it looks like it doesn't really... Uh, wait, what? If you're on a server, blah, 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 feel your death was caused by lag or a bug, they can give you a piece of another Ruta or hand it to me, and I'll refund your cost. So is this a, uh, I guess I can't 100% that. Because it sounds like you have to ask the, the server admins to spawn this in for you. And then send it in, and it'll give you an undie thing. 
Because literally everything else here has a completed thing. So I can only assume... I have that. I can only assume if I, like, spawn that in for myself, that it would 100% it, maybe? I assume, because I don't think you can find it. We looked in the book. I, it might not be available online. So... Hmm. Yeah, one more quest left for the instructor, so... How about we do that, right? Let's do the cheating thing. Uh, let's do, what's it called? Game mode one. There you go. Rutile or because it sounds like, child, it sounds like it's not even available in this, in this world. And the only way to 100% it is to do this, I suppose? Which, because I'm in single player, there's no, no other way for me to get this other than cheating it's in, of course, so. Send that in. 10 mission outlook. Ba-boom. Oh, wait, no, no. Unclaim re Okay, well, that didn't really do anything. <laughs> okay, well, because I just reset to one death, I don't think it really matters because I died 127 times. So <laughs> I don't think it really matters, but I thought that would have 100%ed it. I don't know why the instructor isn't 100% though. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, I think we're going to end the episode right there. We could probably work on uh, looking for some other stuff, maybe doing some memes in the Thomcraft or uh, the Thomonomicon. Not the Thomonomicon. <laughs> so I suppose we could do that maybe next episode or something. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I will see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.